In this episode, we're doing the math that shows the conditions that must exist for the Prisoner gravitational hypothesis to actually work. Well, at least in the simplest and accurate form I can. For this episode, I want to know, how far does the atom need to move toward the ground with each revolution? For the electron, we will use the Bohr model of the single electron in the hydrogen atom in the first orbit. Gravity is 9.8 meters per second per second. And I want to thank the kind folks over at okphysics.com for figuring out the electron frequency, which is found to be 6.6 .6 times 10 to the 15th hertz or revolutions per second. With these two pieces of information, I can find the distance that the electron will have to deviate with each rotation in order to reach 9.8 meters in one second. 1.49 times 10 to the negative 15th meters per rotation. But how far is that? Well, the radius of the orbit is incredibly small, 0.53 times 10 to the negative 10 meters. So that I can even begin to understand the relationship between these two very small numbers, I will find the percentage of the radius that the orbit needs to deviate. So I run the fraction and I come up with 0.0014% of the radius. Well, that's not very much. If the orbit of the electron was the size of a basketball, it would have to deviate by a mere 1.7 micrometers. I really can't relate to that either, so what if the orbit was the size of the Earth? With each orbit, it would need to deviate a mere 293 feet. Let's consider this. Could the difference in the density of space at a distance of 1 times 10 to the negative 10 meters cause this refraction? Let me know in the comments. YouTuber Jason P. asked why a warped oscillation would even generate a push or a pull. Excellent question. I will illustrate with two atoms. When one strikes the other, notice it is the electron orbits that push the entire system around. The nuclei never touch. So the idea is, if the orbits experience a force, the entire atom will go with it. I would like to thank all those that took the time to leave comments on my videos. If you have any questions, please take advantage of the comments section. Please subscribe to this channel and also consider becoming a patron and supporting this channel.